What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Rage Bros Inc. Today we're going to be playing some Hearthstone obviously. Uh, we're going to be trying out the Zoo deck, the Warlock Zoo deck that I built and hopefully we do amazing because it is an amazing deck. If you're enjoying this video make sure you throw that like up there and subscribe because guess what on our channel we're doing some awesome things, some really cool giveaways. We're doing a Razor Naga giveaway right now. So Razor Naga is an $80 mouse so I would go check that out if I were you. All right, let's get into this game. Okay, so that's pretty good, three, four, five. But let's go see if we can find something better. Just gonna take that gamble. I think we did a lot better there. That's not, it's not too bad at all. Now the zoo deck going against a hunter is a little tough, but I have this thing with this deck that. Soul Fire. Every time I pull a Soul Fire, I'm just like, all right, play it. But I'm learning that you can't just play a Soul Fire when you get it. You gotta be smart about it. So I think we'll go with the. You no, know we'll just go with Dire Wolf. I know I should have played. Uh, I should have just life tapped there and attacked. But hey, we're still good here. There's not much he can really do about this first pressure, so that's still that's a good start, I think. So I think next turn we'll probably throw out the Scarlet Crusader, or we could life tap and play the Young Priestess. Unless the life tap gives me a Void Walker. In which case we could play that instead. Which would be pretty nice. So he's looking for he's looking through his cards, he's like, hmm. That's a lot of early pressure. What should I do? And the truth is, he he probably looks like he does have something he can play. Because he looks like he's kind of focusing really hard right now. But I don't think it's going to help him. I could be completely wrong. We'll see. I think he may be just confused. He's like, this is too much pressure. I don't know what to do. Maybe he hasn't seen the zoo deck before. Time does move quickly, so let's hurry it up, bud. He plays a Dire Wolf Alpha. I think we're going to go ahead and... Oh. You know what? Let's Knife Juggler into Young Priestess. Oh, that's fine. We'll hit him. Kill that. And we'll pass the turn. We'll hold on to Soulfire for now. It's just, ah, it's one of those things that I'm still learning to hold on to, like, when should you play it at the right time, but you kind of get it once, after a little bit of time, you kind of understand when you should and shouldn't play it. Mostly in the later game, it's a little bit better, because it kind of gets rid of that uh, pressure they put on you when you're trying to rush them down. There's many utility, there's much utility for the Soul Fire, it's just, you know, knowing when to play it and when not to. It's always that tough call. So he's going through his cards again. Looks like he's going to coin into something. Probably an animal companion. Oh, multi-shot. Nice. Not going to help him. Uh, unfortunately kept up my two strongest cards. That was really unfortunate for him. Okay, so there's the taunt. Now we can do something really cool here. We can... Scarlet Crusade. You know what? I'm going to put the taunt on this side. Scarlet over on this side. And then now I'm going to play the Soul Fire. And then hit him in the face. And turn four, and we're already down to... We already have him down to 13 damage. That's pretty freaking good, I think. Not too bad. Although, if he has an answer for this, then we're kind of out of cards here. So we're going to have to life tap like crazy. With a Warlock, any kind of Warlock deck, you can never really go full health unless you're kind of just on top of your game. and Or not on top of your game, you just, they don't have very good card draw and you can just keep pushing the pushing them with your, uh, with your focus right there. But, not really a realistic thing. So, he's still thinking, like, hmm, this is way too much pressure, what should I do? The answer is, release the Hounds. Hit a monkey and a guy with the coconuts. That was awesome. Guy sleeping in the tent. He does his thing. I'm going to light a fire. Kind of bored. 
It's always fun to play um, against, you know, maybe, maybe possible new person. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's just got such a perfect hand. He's just like, man, I don't know. I got a lot of options here. Okay, that is a secret, and unfortunately, could be something very bad. So let's see what it does. I'm going to throw the Crusader at him before I waste any cards. Okay, so it is nothing. Well, for attacking anyways. We don't want to jump the gun. It could be a snipe, so... We're just going to hold on the dire wolf. Yeah, you know what? Let's get it out of the way now. I should have put him in between these two, but I kind of messed up there. I was just kind of seeing if that was a sniper or a sniper or not. Got one health left. I think it's a... Uh, that, that is an ability that if I attack one of his minions, maybe it's a... No, it couldn't be a misdirect. Uh, you know what? I don't know. Can't think about it. It's got to be if I attack his minion. It has to be, so... If I attack his minion. <sighs> we're in the clear, I think. I think we're doing pretty good here. If he plays Release the Hounds, then we've got something else coming to us, so we got to be kind of careful with that. A Release the Hounds with the Starving Buzzard uh, can get really out of hand, especially with how many minions I have on the deck right now, or out on the uh, field right now. You know what? I really messed up. I know I should have put that Dire Wolf in the middle, and I would have killed him last turn, but, you know, live and learn. I was just kind of too anxious just to see what that was. I didn't really care about throwing him out. Kind of a rookie mistake there, but what can you do? Just waiting on him. Uh, he doesn't seem too happy right now. We'll give him a well played just to put some more burn. Yeah, he didn't look too happy. He t I, I think he's just trolling it now. He just doesn't want to let me win that easy, so... He's just letting the time go. Yeah, that's game. There we go. <laughs> uh, one of those people that kind of just gets upset because they lose all the time. Well, there you go, rank 18. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go check out some more awesome videos. We got some more awesome things in there. We will see you next time.